Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today I just want to talk about how we can get our Calibri servers fixed. If you followed my tutorial from, this was actually going back almost like all coming up on three years now, I did a uh, tutorial on how to create a full, fully functional Calibri network server on Debian. Uh, this was based on uh, my Open Media Vault install. So if you happen to follow along on this tutorial and you've updated to the latest Open Media Vault, you will find that your Calibri server has most likely stopped functioning properly. So what this has to do with is in, for whatever reason, the latest release of Open Media Vault doesn't actually load your media serves until after the FS tab file runs. And so nothing gets mounted. But if you mount this too quickly, it fails to mount, and then the entire server fails to boot. So what I did is I had to figure out <clears throat> how to get my server back up and running. So I did a little bit of diagnostics and found that if I, uh, if I manually mounted the drivers, uh, the, the various servers, after the, uh, after the system was already up and running, then everything worked. I could manually start the Calibri file, uh, the Calibri server, and things like that, and so everything went functioning just fine. And so after looking into this, it appears as though what happened is uh, in the uh, systemd startup is they changed where Open Media Vault actually boots. And uh, as much as I love Open Media Vault, that threw me for a loop because I had to figure out a way around it. So I did come up with a solution that we are going to uh, walk through here. And uh, it may not be the most elegant solution in the world, but what I want to do here is I want to kind of show you what I am doing. So let me go ahead and um, switch on over to the terminal. So we've already root, um, logged into the server. I'm just trying to figure out where my zoom in button is. There we are. And zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing. <clears throat> so what we had in that original tutorial, which I'll have linked down below, because everything works up until the point <clears throat> where we are creating the systemd uh, initialization file. So that's the part that is failing. So what we should be having is if things are working correctly, is when we head on over to our Calibri folder, which we put into media, and then went into this to add server here, this server was not getting added. And where this, uh, where this came into a problem is if we head on over to our FS tab file, then what we see is this line down here is what we used to uh, to add your your network share. The problem is this shows up in the log as a uh, directory not found because this file is running before Open Media Vault shares all of the network drives. In this case, the network drive based on the server ID uh, into the uh, into the system. So this fails to mount basically. So what we do though is if you if you actually run a mount a t c i f s, this is going to rerun the mounts for for the fs tab file, and so running this after the system was up and running actually solved the issue. But then we had the problem that we needed to actually start the server because if this folder is not mounted correctly then the server fails to load. So what I end up doing is I end up creating a cron job <clears throat> and I created the cron job. Now the original cron job goes into that directory and adds any ebooks in there into the library and then deletes everything in there. That's just fine. But what we had is I wanted to make sure that the system would actually boot. So what I did is I set this and some people say, well, you should have put the wait time at the beginning of the file. I wanted to do it at the beginning of the, the reboot because I didn't want the file to be trying to run in the background and miss something on any cache. So what we do is I set a cron job that when the system reboots, it waits for five minutes and after it waits, then it runs a new bash file that I wrote inside of the bin file. All right. So what this is going to do now is let's head on to the bin and have a look at the 
file. So all this is going to do is five minutes after the boot, it's going to run this, this system to remount uh, everything in the FS tab file. So now we are all mounted and then it runs the command to start and daemonize the Calibri server. So this means that now we have the, the library works exactly as we had originally intended. And, um, uh, where'd the file go? There it went. Okay. So now we are running our, our uh, file runs initially as intended. Everything is working just fine out of the box. It just waits five minutes before we start. So this has to do with apparently Open Media Vault changed where and how uh, the network shares are available, which is a little bit problematic, and this may not be the most elegant solution. But if you are having a problem running a Calibri server on Debian 9 or 10, Following that tutorial I had, this will be an update that will allow you to fix that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.